What is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Probably one of the most excited times I am to film a video. I'm filming my first kind of event. It's so cold out here in Finland. It is Vain X McDonald's, meaning that the fashion brand in Finland is collaborating with the huge global brand. Super exciting to see what they've come up with. From what I have understood, the idea was to use old McDonald's work clothes and repurpose them into new ones. But anyways, I'm in Turku right now. I'm heading to Helsinki. The train is right behind me. I was supposed to drive there, but we were hit with a super snowy day. I was kind of forced to take a train. No big deal. Not complaining about that. And yeah, I can't really say too much because this will be an experience for me as well. Don't know about the end product and don't really know about what is going to happen. So let's hop on the train, head to Helsinki and figure out what the whole deal is about and is McDonald's fashionable? On the train now. I'll do a bit of work on the train and catch you guys in Helsinki. So, we're in the McDonald's that it's gonna be held in. It's still a bit of a... Even the whole McDonald's is under construction, so... There's a bit of a hassle here. We'll see what happens. I'll show you guys the clothes a bit. A little behind the scenes of the clothes. So, the idea now, what we're doing is filming little clips for like a campaign and stuff. I think we're going into a kitchen to take some like, um, oh yeah, clips for TikTok and other social medias. And we got dressed in the McDonald's stuff, have the full McDonald's vein fit. So, we'll see how they turn out and gonna have some fun. <laughs> Here's the fit, the pants, got the hoodie, got the hat. Sitten sinappi, tuosta vaan ketsuppi, heitään se tonne yli, sitten pyöräytetään oikeinpäin ja sitten vaan noin. So now they're teaching how to make a burger, how it's done, and soon they'll start doing it and they'll film, they'll film like uh, videos about it. <laughs> Most important is to use bare hands, you know. Okay, let's one hand this shit. I'ma uh, make a burger for y'all. Tutorial. <laughs> Finished with the kitchen section. That was a lot of fun. I didn't really expect that. I think we'll start filming other sections, other clips, not only in the kitchen. I'll leave links to the official TikToks. So if you want to check them out, there's links to the TikToks in the description. <laughs> Ты 
Kaj jo, kaj ne? Kaj jo, kaj ne? Kaj jo, kaj ne? Kaj zam? E? Kaj jo ima tvoj ne nam? We're at a second McDonald's since the other one was um, obviously under construction. There were different pictures that they wanted to take, so it came to McDonald's close to the first one. So shout out Helsinki McDonald's for making it work. <laughs> so, it's Thursday today. Today is show day. Let me put my hood on, it's cold. So yeah, show day for Vain X McDonald's. Very hyped. To be honest, such a cool collaboration, cool idea. As you guys saw from the first day, it was very much about just having fun, and I think, like, for marketing purposes, it suits the collaboration very well since um, nice fashion brand collaborating with a global fast food brand it has to be somewhat, you know, satire. I feel like definitely love the pants. All of them, as I mentioned, were previous McDonald's clothes, so technically workwear. You know, even the pants were some old McDonald's workers' pants and uh, some of them were redesigned and for some of them they were just, they just had some details and branding added to them. The pants also gave me a little like Evisu, am I pronouncing it right, Evisu. You know, everyone knows the jeans, you know, that has the like logo on the back. The McDonald's logo kind of at least somewhat reminded me about them. But anyways, same place as the start of the video at the train station waiting for the train to leave to Helsinki let's do a quick fit check I'ma put y'all on a dumpster so I have this Prada scarf that has this hood the jacket is a Stone Island crinkle reps it's actually my dad's it's a size extra large and it fits very nice in my opinion like I'm normally a size small so very weird that an XL fits me Then the Dries Poil pants and the same Dior boots. Just go absolutely perfect together. The baggy fit of the trousers, immense with these shoes in my opinion. Anyways, I'm gonna head to Helsinki, catch you guys at McDonald's and I'll document the show and that's what's up. See you guys in Helsinki. So I just arrived at the McDonald's. People are getting ready here. The event is gonna happen probably in an hour or two. Let's see the build up and let's see the end product. Okay. <laughs> Soon is showtime. Music playing. Don't want to use too much time talking, but enjoy the show and I'll catch you guys afterwards. <laughs>
So I'm back in Milan. The event was pretty much a week ago. Sorry for the few day delay. I caught a very bad disease and it took me pretty much a week to recover from that so I haven't been able to edit or film the end of this video and also I was supposed to release the vlog before this video but hence the disease uh, had to switch up the arrangements a bit and publish this one first then the vlog is coming next week. It has a bit of behind the scenes of the Vaynex McDonald's and then vlog content, vintage furniture shops, vintage sunglass shops. I feel like it's a good vlog. It's also edited already, so it's coming next week, definitely. Anyways, I didn't film anything after the event itself and uh, first of all, I want to shout out Vane for first of all inviting me and, you know, having a very nice hospitality as always. I went there the first time and I really enjoyed all the people, everyone was super nice and you know it's a very cool group of people working together and uh, Finland being a small place it's just like very cool to see you know with my own eyes because I know what comes from Finland, I know what brews in Finland just first hand seeing the progress, first hand seeing the executions is just very cool for me, I'll always be honored that I've been invited to these events. These are also, I'd say, like uh, the first big events Vane has had as well. And talking about events, Vane is also having their first official collection showcased in Pitti Uomo in Florence. I think it was like 11th of January, if I'm not mistaken. And they've also now released online a set of clothes. Basically, if you buy clothes, it will help the execution with the uh, Pitti Uomo show. So anyone who got interested in Vane, doesn't own pieces from Vane, go to their web store and buy something. I use this hoodie absolutely every single day. Absolutely every single day. So with own hand experience, I can very much recommend at least the hoodies. I don't know the fit of the other stuff but the hoodies I can absolutely recommend. Another thing that Vane is launching now is a Discord server. Uh, most of y'all probably know what Discord servers are about. It's just bringing in the community and just giving more like behind the scenes stuff. What's happening behind the scenes and you know all that good stuff. And I feel like it might be very interesting for people who are either getting into like the brand side of fashion, you know, like seeing what really goes and, you know, seeing what really happens and what's inside the whole fashion world. They're gonna put a capacity at start of how many people can enter, so anyone interested in it, definitely go sooner than later, otherwise you might miss your spots. But those are the slight plugs out of the way. Going into the event in itself, uh, I feel like it was very well organized considering as you saw at the start of the video, the McDonald's where it was supposed to be held was completely under construction and uh, yeah, it all turned out like event-wise, like where the event was held turned out to be good. The McDonald's was ready, the workers were nice. A huge shout out for them to Get, getting that collaboration, getting themselves on the map, their social media is legit blew up. I don't know, probably a lot of my audience even who haven't watched my Vane video might know about Vane right now because on TikTok that shit went flying and also like huge magazines, huge Instagram pages were all, were all reposting it and it was just, I'd say a thing that hasn't happened in the fashion world before. Really something that you love to see, especially since it's a Finnish brand. You know, like I don't know how many countries could honestly execute that. I'm happy that it happened in Finland for real, like there's not too many like big fashion things that have happened in Finland and Vane is the absolute right brand to get that collaboration and to get themselves on the map. I feel like they've been doing what they need to do and really doing, you know, like uh, the fashion thing proper, taking its time and just letting itself, you know, grow out. It's really playing into their books, you know. Eventually, when you keep doing good work, it'll just add up, it'll become a good thing. Not everything happens overnight, even though probably after the McDonald's thing, when people started to repost the shit out of the event, you know, after night, most likely gained a shit ton of followers, but behind th those followers is still a lot of work. It's just, that wasn't overnight success, and I, 
really love to see it. I just gotta put emphasis on it, you know, really love to see it, really love to see him grow. About the pieces, definitely my, my favorite was either the pants, as mentioned before, or the leather jacket. I feel like the leather jacket tied the McDonald's colors in very well. And I think that's pretty much also the standout piece, I'd say. Also, forgot to shout out Gladen for sending me the, the song that he used in the event. Let me use it in this video. So that's very nice of him and, you know, cool to add that to the video. I'm not going to use too much time. I want to keep this video quite snappy and tidy, you know, being very, like, events focused. And then just add a few words to the end. Because also on the vlog, I'll be talking a bit about the event, you know, having some behind the scenes again, like different perspectives perhaps. There's a lot of videos that are coming in December. I also have a new country that I'm going to visit for business purposes. I'll get more into that, but towards the end of December, before Christmas, I'm going to visit that country and I'll go again back to Finland for Christmas, spend some time with family. So yeah, there's a lot happening. I've legit now just been focused on getting better, getting past this disease that I caught. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed filming it, really enjoyed being there. And yeah, catch you guys next week with the vlog.